on a, a variety of, of different concepts. One of which we've been working on for the last year and it's called Gentle Bend and it's a half hour dramatic comedy, if you will, about a um, gentleman named Ben Dalton whose life basically goes down the drain and he retreats to a small town and basically to visit his uncle and that visit becomes an extended stay and we sort of watch him navigate through the adjustment of being single, newly single, and the adjustment of small town living. We had nothing but an idea. As we got together, we actually created a, a, an A and B point, so we kind of knew where it was going to start and where it was going to end, and that was in the first episode of the pilot, as it's called. What's really interesting is as you develop more episodes and you develop the idea, your, your plot for the episode actually is a self-contained thing and now you have to plot from the first episode to the last episode of the first season. So uh, that's what we're working on now and as I said we've been working on that for about a year and we've got a, all these very sort of eclectic characters in which Ben sort of meets and seems to find his character bending in ways that he never thought possible. Hence the title Gentle Bend. So, um, loved Come On In and Get Lost. Loved uh -huh, it. Yeah. My mother said... <laughs> my mother, oh, I know the car. I really think we should... Because like, this picture really doesn't encapsulate what I think the town is about. It would be nice to have a car, maybe with a bit of luggage or something. Like, I just, I'm still not completely sold on the picture as okay. um, a symbol for the town. That's just my thought. Okay. Okay. You know it could be difficult to find a vehicle... That matches the description. It's Passat. Just Google Passat. You can. That's facing the exact same way, so it looks like it's on the road and not going this way. Yeah. Well, That's I did Google Passats, and there's a lot of pictures. Good. Did you Google luggage too, so that we could? Yep. Yeah. Just a couple pictures. Okay. So Jeez. now the only. We've just finished working on the pitch document, and a pitch document is basically, you know, a, a kind of like a a synopsis of the concept of the show in which we outline the concept, we outline the tone of it, what is at its heart, the characters, the arc of the first season, season two and beyond, specific episodes, that sort of thing. All right. Um, sorry, where were you at then? Last page. Which is potential? No. No? Season two and beyond. And it's just realizes, should be realizing. Ben has to weigh his options at the same time realizing that he's become a pillar in gentle bend. It used to be realizing. You made the change it, remember? No, I don't remember yep, that. You said at you all. didn't like realizing, you didn't think it fit. I remember that at all. I do. Okay, so that's what we've got for the notes so far. Keep going. Gentle Bend is not just a comedy series, it's a th thinking series. It's a series that's going to make you think, make you question what you believe, uh, make you believe what you question. Yeah, and it's therapy. I know Allison's mentioned that a number of times, but uh, if it can be therapeutic for us to write, it has got to be therapeutic for some people to watch. Another concept that we're working on is uh, another half hour, more of a dramedy called Assuming the Worst, and that's about a young man who is a shape shifter. And that's basically um, someone who can take on different shapes and this man can see seconds before you are about to die and if he so chooses he can intervene and um, save your life. It's really kind of like putting together a puzzle, uh, let's say like a 400 piece puzzle, I think that's a fair, fairly good size. The problem is there's no picture, it's just all blank pieces and you actually, actually draw the picture as you're putting the puzzle together. Yeah, I know. I understand what you're saying. Okay, then we go down to... It is through Ben's handiwork, that paragraph. Mm -hmm. Dangling preposition. So the sentence should read, It is through Ben's handiwork that he finds himself having to befriend people with whom, instead of oh. that... Okay. Um, and a third concept we're working on is a web series, and it's called The Writer's Block, and it's about these two writers who are trying to get their shows made and seen. Who does Norm have to sleep with? Because I've done that. I'm done with that. I'm not sleeping with anybody else to get to the top. <laughs> <laughs>